Yo, what's up everybody? I'm back here doing our video, um, another reaction video as you can see. But um, you guys are probably wondering um, what video I'm about to react to. Um, this is a video by Minister Lamont Banks. He's someone I really look up to. I call him my spiritual dad and he's always looking out for me and being there for me and I have none but love and respect for him so we're about to um, react to one of his videos his videos are always inspirational and no matter how hard things is you know just know God loves you and God God's got you okay home with Christian principles and they've always taught me good practices in life and um mm -hmm. But I had struggles in my life. Just like many of us, we all go through struggles in our life. And I had nice, some struggles nice. early in my life, particularly in the New York City school system. In the New York City school system, I had a lot of struggles. You know, I was in special education. I was labeled emotionally disturbed. See that right there, I could um, have a connection with because when I was younger, I used to get put into um, special ed classes. You know, um, I used to not have a lot of friends because of it. And then people used to, you know, think that I, w I was stupid or I didn't know what I was doing. And people just didn't take me serious back then when they, they saw me in special ed. So, it was rough. <laughs> um, kids used to pick on me. I had communication Same. problems. And the people in the Board of Education, they... I, um, I didn't quite have communication problems, but, I mean, sometimes I do talk low, but I don't know if that counts. If that counts, let me know. Uh... I was put in special ed when I was young because I wasn't learning um, quite well when I was younger. Like, it took me usually longer to learn um, certain things. So, yeah, you know, nothing too crazy. They said that I would never no be wrong. able to graduate high out. school. And that, in those they classes. said that, in fact, that maybe I'll be able to maybe take a trade and maybe be able to make just potholders. And this is what they said. They said that I wouldn't be able to go far in life, that I wouldn't even be able to finish high school. Mm -mm -mm. But I thank God mm. that I had parents that were loving yes, and that yes, got on their knees yes. and they prayed for me. My dad, yes. he prayed for me. My mom, she prayed for me and they fought for me. Even when they said that I wouldn't be able to amount to anything, that all I would be able to do is make potholders. Uh, they did not no accept not. that. And they, and God didn't did not you. accept that. And they actually got the Board of Education to pay for my education through junior high school all the way to the end of high school. My father, he went out and he looked for the best junior high school, the best high school for me. And I went on and I graduated high school. And I not only graduated high school, but I graduated high school with honor. Mm. Okay. So, um, I remember, wow, he really did that. <sighs> he came a long way. <laughs> when they said that I would only be able to make potholders, I graduated with honors. So people may put labels that's, on you. They may good, say man. you that's can't good. do it, but I'm here to encourage you. You can do it. Amen. And yes, yes, somebody yes, prayed can. for me, and I'm so glad 
that my parents prayed for me and that they fought for me with the help of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. So I overcame those struggles and I've graduated high school. And when I got that diploma, my mother, she, Beverly Banks, she said, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Yes, yes, and she yes, saw yes. that and she was so proud. Yes. But sadly, she was battling in my last year of high school with cancer. And after I graduated a couple of months later mm -hmm. on October 12, 1999, she passed away. She went to be home. Yeah, when I watched that, I kind of um, felt bad. Like, you know, him to lose a mom, man. Like, it's not, you know, it's rough. You know, I can't imagine waking up and knowing that I couldn't talk to moms. And it's just, I felt bad for him, man. Like, the fact that he went through it and still accomplished the things he did makes me respect it even more and have more love for him, man. Like, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> With the Lord. And that was very hard for me. That was a very troubling time for me. And I was mm -hmm. just starting college. And I know she would have been proud. And I think that's what helped drove me to continue. Because I know my mother, she wouldn't want me to give up. So I continued on. And I went off to college. And I went to community college. And, you know, I had my struggles. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I changed my major so many times. But I went off to college. I got my associate's degree in business management. Then I went off to four-year college. I went to York College. And um, I got my bachelor's degree in marketing. And I just continue on. And God has just been blessing. But keep in mind, this is someone who was supposed to just be making pot holders, you know, but the devil is a liar. Amen. God yes. has brought me a mighty long way. And I just thank him for that. So I just continued on. And then I wanted to grow more in, in the Lord. So I was at a church called Church of the Revelation where I took discipleship classes and I got more into the word of God because I just started to get hungry for God. And a teacher, they told me about Bible school. He said, you should go to Bible school. So I went to Bible school, the Spanish yes. Eastern Bible yes. Institute of Assemblies of God right in the Bronx on Walton Avenue. And I went to this Bible school for four years and I got my degree in theology from this Bible Institute. And um, from there I went on and I furthered my education for my master's degree in business administration. And that was a challenge for me. You know, but I went on and I, God blessed me and I was able to get my MBA, my master's in business administration with concentrations in general management and healthcare management. Yes, to God yes. be the glory. But keep in mind, this yes. is someone who's supposed to Sorry, be guys. making pot holders. But <laughs> God, but God. Amen. God's great. So I, I, I was doing all of this stuff. I, I did all of this schooling and stuff like that. And then I was getting into the church more. I got involved in ministries. And I was yes. particularly had a passion for missions and outreach ministry. Going out, reaching people for Jesus Christ. And I would give out tracts. I went on my first missions trip to Chicago, Illinois, 
where I reach people yes. in the tough Amen. city of Chicago called Hope for Chicago. That was the name of the missions trip, and that was back in 2017. And I just had a passion to just reach people for Jesus Christ. And then I started just um, broadcasting sermons at church, mm -hmm. and I, I was just getting the good news of Jesus Christ out on Facebook, on social media. And then one day I was just sitting at home, and God just told me, why don't you? God just told me, go online, go on Facebook Live and share a word from the Lord. And I was so nervous sharing a word from the Lord to the people. I've never done anything like that. But God told me, go on. And, and, and he's so great at it. He's so great at it. Like, he is so great at it, man. Like, to, you know, he when he speaks his word. Like, um, also, he's on Facebook Live, too. So if you want to tune in to him, he's on Facebook Live. If you want to um, get a word in. Um, yeah. Go on and share a word from the Lord to the people. So I went on and I just shared for three minutes a Psalm Saturday devotional. And when I shared that three minutes, people were encouraged, people were blessed, and it was so blessed. And I just came back on the following week. And I shared another devotional and people were still blessed by it. And I just kept going on. And then one day I got sick. I wasn't feeling good. So I didn't come on. And my dad, Elder Charles Banks, he said, you should keep going. If you can't do it, you should get someone else to go on and, and speak for you. And that's how guest speakers started on devotionals for life international ministries programs mm -hmm. and i started getting guest speakers and they started sharing words and ministry partners all of them sharing good messages that was encouraging and reaching people for jesus christ but then um after that I started another program. God put it in my heart to start midweek devotional on Wednesday. And I started sharing more messages and just teaching people the word of God on the midweek devotionals. And people were just being blessed and inspired and impact. And more and more people were coming to Jesus Christ. And, you know, That's I just thank God go. for the ministry Hallelujah, devotionals Hallelujah. for life because yes. I couldn't see myself doing any of it. Yes. this. It's all through God's strength. It's all by the grace of God that I'm doing any of this. I'm not qualified to do any of this, but God, he qualifies the unqualified. Amen. Amen. So I'm just Amen. grateful. And how did I come up? You may ask, how did you come up with the name Devotionals for Life? Well, I came up with it. I was praying about it. And I said, these are devotionals. And the for life, I said, was these are devotionals that you can apply to your everyday life. So mm -hmm. Devotionals for Life are devotionals you can apply to your everyday life, which comes out of the Word of God. The Word of God, we read the Word of God, but we have to apply it to our life. So that's how I came up with devotionals for life. And international ministries just came about because we're reaching people all around the world. I have amazing, I have man. followers on Facebook, yes. following in Pakistan, following yes. in Philippines, India, yes. people in yes. France, people watching all here in the United States, all 50 states, people watching in the Caribbean islands, in Jamaica, Trinidad, 
Antigua, Puerto Rico, Dominica Republic, Canada, people watching all over the world being blessed by devotionals for life. So that's why I decided this ministry is going to be called Devotionals for Life for International life. Ministries. Yes. Amen. Yes, so yes, amen. that's how Devotionals for Life came about. Amen. It nice. just came about with that's God amazing. telling me, go on Facebook Live, over God, that he chose me. Good. Because like I said, I never seen yes. myself doing this. Yo, ends in the credits. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Yeah, so, and guys, um, there's also um, something to remind y'all. It's from chapter Philippians for verse 13 for i could do everything through christ who gives me strength may the lord bless me in jesus name man like meaning you could do anything that's put you know like if you have a goal you could reach it don't limit yourself okay do not limit yourself to follow your dreams Anything is possible as long as you put in the work to it. And this is such an inspirational video. Like it, like I feel like I could do what I want, and what I want is to, you know, reach my goal and try to hit 3K subs soon. And I'm gonna try to keep working as hard as I can and see if I could be better at music and, you know, all the other stuff that that's important to me and i thank god i'm still here and yes 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 and whoever is here watching thank you for watching and please like subscribe share with your friends and family man and uh peace